everyone, welcome back to my video. Yes, you read the title. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a mom menu and stuff for Gorilla Tag. And a few people ask me how to make a mom menu. So today, I'm going to show you how to make one. And right before we begin, we are so close to 1,000 subscribers. So please consider liking and subscribing before the end of the year. So let's go straight into the video. Now, first, obviously, you need to go on your any web browser like Brave, Opera, Google Edge, or something like that. It's okay, what you gotta do, you need to go on your YouTube channel and search my channel like this. Now, once you're here on my channel, you wanna go to videos in here, and you wanna click on my latest video. Now, once you do Hello. that, you wanna go on the description and click on the first option. This will bring you here. Now, basically, once you're here, you wanna go into um, Visual Studio, which is here. And make sure to click on the download button. Make sure to continue to download. Make sure to click save and then it will be done. Now you want to click open it and this will pop up. Make sure to click yes as well for this. Now, once you're here, you want to click continue and this will install. Now, once you're here, you want to go on your motorbike. But if you're already on motorbike, that will be perfect. Now you want to open up motorbike and make sure to have Visual Studio Community 2022. You want to click on that, then this will bring you here. So basically what you're going to do, you need to click on that desktop development and go on game development with you. Unity. Now you wanna click download. So yeah, now we're going to customizing when and once we're done it, go back and make sure to go on menu templates. You wanna go on download button, click on continue to download, make sure to click save and then it will pop up like this. Make sure to go on the folder thing and make sure to right click it and go on extract all make sure to extract as well and this will ex extract and copy now once you're here on another folder like i'm going to close right now you want to open up another one and you should be here now you want to close off this this thing as well and you want to open up cs project shiba gt template and this will bring you here and then you should be done with setting up now this will bring you he in here so basically what you're gonna do you need to open up ui and open backend as well this is very important as well. So basically what you're gonna do, you need to go on properties. No, 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 no. Go to references and you'll be right with this. Now you wanna left click zero harmony and you wanna scroll down to you reach the end, which is here. You wanna hold left shit and click it like this. And make sure to click delete. Make sure to click OK. And this will delete everything and this will create tons of errors. Now, if you wanna fix that, you wanna right click on references Go on, add references. Once you do that, make sure to go on browse. Now, basically what you're gonna do, you need to go on your uh, C disk, go on program files, go on Steam, go on Steam apps, go on common, go on Gorilla Tag, and you'll be brought with this. You wanna go to Gorilla Tag data, go on manage, and you'll be brought with this. Now you wanna drag it until you see Steam VR actions, which is definitely here. Now, this is the most important part. You wanna scroll down until you see that centered. Make sure to hold control and click on it. Make sure to not use MS Colored as well. Now you wanna click add. Once you do that, make sure to go on browse again and you wanna scroll until you see like technique and thing, which is here, as you can see. Now you wanna drag it until you see the end like this. Make sure to click add. Now this is in down. You wanna go to browse again, go on Gorilla Tech in here. You wanna go on Bepinex, go on Core, and make sure to hold Control and A. This will select everything. And make sure to hold Control again, and make sure to click on Zero Harmony 20. You wanna click Add, and this will be selected everything. Now, once I did that, make sure to click on OK. Now, this will pop up, make sure to click on OK, and make sure to click on OK as well, and this will delete all errors. Now, basically what you're gonna do, you need to close off references like this, and then, once you did that, make sure to go on Risk Menu, and then you will get this. Now, if you want to make like changing colors, you want to set it into true, like this. Like I'm going to change it to black and magenta because this is like test. So yeah. By the way, if you don't want like changing colors, you can change it to, and um, no, if no changing colors like this, I'm going to set it to blue. It does, these are the button settings. But if you actually want to change it, you want to go on control F and make sure to search yellow. And this will brought up here. Like last time I used this, it actually works. So basically what you're gonna do, you need to change it to red if you want. You can change it to other ones, but do not use clear. This will do something really bad. Now you can change it into red and then magenta is turned on. So I'm going to change it to green as well. 
like this and boom now once i did that make sure to go all the way until you see like the template which is here so basically what you gotta do you need to uh, make it like like anything you want i'm gonna set like 13 gt's template version 1.0.0 like this and now guys if you want a part two please consider liking and subscribing and get me guys to 1000 subscribers i'll make a part two so see you later